Hello and welcome to my tarot corner. So before I start, please take a few moments to uh, to look into my description box and read my full disclaimer. This is a tarot reading. It is vibrational. It is open to interpretation. It exists as assumption and as speculation, and as such, it may or may not be true. So please do your own research and decide for yourselves. So after yesterday in St. Paul Cathedral, now it wasn't yesterday, it was the day before, uh, it appears that uh, Megan and Harry ditched all of the other engagements that they were supposed to uh, attend. Uh, there was there was a luncheon after that uh, um, ceremony in the cathedral. There was a very big, beautiful uh, um, concert yesterday, last night, uh, and they decided not to attend and uh, there may might be uh, many uh, possibilities uh, maybe because they were booed and decided not to uh, risk that again uh, or maybe because they already got what they came for which was uh, the uh, the picture of them being part of the royal family and uh, some people say that they even already went back to the to California uh, but now uh, what they mean to do is to cash into their royal connections and try to convince people to uh, give them more contracts uh, which sounds really ridiculous to me. I mean, people uh, are not going to just give them money because they have royal connections, or maybe they are, I don't know. But it sounds ridiculous that people will overlook the, the way that they've been acting in the past two years, that they haven't delivered anything uh, for, for all of the contracts that they already have. Uh, that they didn't do anything, not for Spotify, not for Netflix until now at least. So uh, the question is, what uh, are they going to do uh, next? Uh, are they going to try and cash their relationship with the royal family? So I'm going to use the True Heart Intuitive Tarot, another deck that I got uh, as a present in that mm, surprise box that I got from one of my subscribers that was full of tarot decks. So this is one of them. And um, I'm going to uh, look into what are they planning? So, and what are they, what do they want in, in to achieve? in uh, everything that is connected to getting money and getting advanced in their career. Okay, so uh, let's uh, clear the deck. I think it's shuffled all enough. Okay, it's one of those decks with very big cards, so with my small hands, it's a little bit difficult to shuffle but we manage so let's start asking so how, uh, how uh, are Harry and Megan going to try and cash into their royal connections what are their next moves in terms of money and career are they going to uh, try and convince others uh, to give them new contracts because of their royal connections. Okay, so the first card will show us their current situation and the way that they are right now. And the card that I'm getting is the Four of Discs. 
So the four of discs, that is the four of pentacles. So uh, the, their current situation is that they feel threatened in everything that is connected to money. And because of that, they are adhering to what they have. Uh, they are adhering to their royal connections. They are adhering to everything that they think that might benefit them because they feel threatened, because they feel that they are on the verge of getting into the five of pentacles, which is destruction. And if they go on uh, acting uh, defensive this way and adhering to what they have, they will reach that destruction and failure because of a, a uh, because of acting this way. So uh, this is about people that are not reading the map correctly and are conducting in the wrong way uh, because of threats that they feel that, that they have that are threatening them. But these threats are not real. These threats are all sorts of things that they imagine that exist, like threats to their, uh, to their uh, privacy, threats to their financial situation, threats to everything. They feel threatened from the world. Everything is a threat. And because of that, they are conducting themselves uh, uh, wrongly and this causes uh, their failure in everything that is connected to money to career so they're not advancing in their life they are completely stuck and uh, they are repeating themselves uh, they are repeating, telling people about their role connections and about things that uh, just don't interest other people anymore. And they are boring. And that is why nobody really wants to do anything with them. So this uh, uh, way of acting leads to the Five of Pentacles, which is a card of destruction and failure that comes because of acting this way, acting uh, out of feeling threatened and uh, because of that adhering to what they still have. Uh, but as I said, they are not acting in the right way in order to advance in their lives. Okay, so are, they new, are there any new sources of income that might come in their ways now that they uh, have participated in the Jubilee? And the answer is the Queen of Swords. Okay, so first of all, yes, but the Queen of uh, all court cards are yes answers. Uh, but as I say many times, court cards are people that have problems. It's the archetype of people that have problems, and because of that, they have this uh, uh, this uh, uh, tendency to lose opportunities. So. First of all, yes, there will be uh, new opportunities for them, new sources of income. Uh, but these opportunities are connected to the archetype of the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is the idealistic queen. It is the queen that uh, Meghan Markle wants people to think that she is. She is the one with the social responsibility. She is the one who will sacrifice uh, herself or sacrifice her own relationships uh, for the greater good. So these opportunities are connected to uh, the things that uh, uh, Harry and Meghan are professing to be uh, these uh, social uh, fighters, these people that are uh, eco-warriors, but uh, despite that, they did ha didn't have any problems in using a private jet in order to come to the UK. So uh, they will have to start uh, let's say, putting on the mask of the Queen of Swords and really acting as the idealistic people, the people who are 
warriors for the greater good in order for these uh, new sources of income to co to realize. So yes, there will be uh, opportunities, but these opportunities will uh, will uh, require sacrifices. And the question is whether or not they will be able to uh, to make those sacrifices in order to uh, to uh, get those opportunities realized. So that is the next question. Will they be able to make those opportunities a reality? And the card that I'm getting is the Three of Swords. So the answer is no. The Three of Swords, first of all, is a clear no answer. But this is another destruction card. It is a card of destruction and a failure that is known in advance because of the way that they acted when they were in the Two of Swords energy. Now, if you remember, yesterday that was the card that I got for Harry when he went out of his uh, with the uh, from the um, uh, uh, meeting that he had with his father. The Two of Swords. That's a card that speaks about being disengaged from reality and inability to cope. And because of being in that energy, you reach the energy of the three of swords which is destruction and failure because they did they uh, overlooked the uh, warning signs that came when they were in the two of swords they made the wrong decision so this card shows self-destruction it shows heartbreak and inability to uh, do things, inability to get uh, those opportunities uh, realized. And this is a card of, this, of depression, something that we see around Harry all the time. Okay, so that's the th third card. The fourth card is uh, how will those uh, uh, or will those uh, opportunities benefit uh, Harry and Meghan if they will be able to find a way to realize that so will they uh, will they get any benefit from those opportunities or from the uh, from the royal family and what we get is the will of fortune so the will of fortune is not a yes and not a no answer this is a card that shows us uh, the there uh, this is a card of change this is a card that is calling them to change and to change from the inside uh, so when they change from the inside it reflects to the outer side and then they will really change. So in order for them to benefit from their royal connections, from everything, they will first of all need to change. That is one thing. The other thing that the Will of Fortune speaks about is to take destiny in your own hands. They cannot expect things to come falling into their lap. They need to take their own destiny in their own hands. They need to start working in order to change things in their lives. They need to start working in order to uh, change their uh, financial situation, to change everything that they want to change in their lives. So they, this card is calling them to take their own uh, destiny in their own hands. But it also shows that they believe that everything mu uh, must come to them uh, without them having to do anything. So this is a life lesson that they have to learn. They need to learn that, first of all, you cannot rely on luck. You cannot rely on fortune that will uh, let you, uh, make things happen for you. That is one thing. And the second uh, uh, life lesson that they need to understand is that they need to change and to change from 
within. So that is the fourth card. And the fifth card is the outcome card. So the outcome card will tell us whether or not they'll be able to cash into their royal connection. And the fifth card that I'm getting is the seven of discs. The seven of pentacles, that is a card of disappointment. This is a card of disappointment from reality. And a, in a way, being a, willing to do whatever it takes to get a, those, a, to get into the truth. Uh, here we see a woman that is actually pregnant and she is uh, trying to work uh, this uh, field with uh, skulls of babies. Uh, this is a little bit eerie in my opinion. Uh, but anyway, it shows us a, a person that is working uh, to no avail because nothing can grow in this field. And despite the fact that she has this, she, that she is uh, carrying a child, but nothing can really grow there. And the seven of, the, of, of pentacles speaks about being disappointed from reality as it is. And this is what they will uh, see. They will see that reality is that nobody cares about their royal connections. No, uh, people will not forget the way that they acted in the past two years, uh, that they didn't do anything, not for Netflix, not for Spotify, that they uh, know how to receive money, but they don't know how to do their own side of the contract. So they, see, they signed contract, but they didn't feel their side of their contracts. And this uh, shows that they have these aspirations and they have the these, uh, they had these uh, images of how they go back to the UK and everybody is uh, so uh, happy to have them back because of their royal connections. But, uh, but actually what uh, will linger on is the way that they were booed, the way the cold shoulder that the royal family gave them, the fact that uh, William did not even glance at Harry, and this will be a major, major disappointment for them. So that is the tarot. Now I'm going to take an oracle card from the Sacred Rebel Oracle and let's see what kind of energy can we see around the Sussexes trying to uh, cash into their royal connections. So clearing the deck. And the Sussexes are trying to cash into the royal connection. Sussexes will try to cash in their royal connections. Okay, so the card that I'm getting is collaborative dreaming. So they have these dreams of collaborating, new collaborations, new, uh, new projects, things that they can, uh, they can uh, collaborate with, other, with new uh, things, with new people, and they are dreaming about being able to cap cash into their royal connections, but it is only a dream. Okay, so this is it for this reading. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.